This is the mission by BGI. To share what we have with others as a student who has been trained in Europe, in the States, I really, really would like to do something in return. Our mission is to promote global genomics in all the ways which both sides could benefit from it. I have been frequently asked, do you have any experiences or what is the model of BGI? A lot and none. I would give you six points. First, persistence. You say, there is a will, there is a way. We say, the winners are only those with persistence. We have the strong belief that the genome and its sequence is extremely important to life science research, to biotech, to bio industry. We believe that life is of sequence, life is digital. Based on these two beliefs, we are determined to build the powerful sequencing and the computing platforms. The second point might be be confident. We have been confident what we were going to do in the past and now. For example, we borrowed a lot of money for that small part of human genome sequencing before the governmental funding arrived. We borrowed even more for initiating the Rice Genome Project also before the funding arrived. We asked confident of what we are doing. The reason is we are confident of our young staffs. That's the first time they made this software which has made the right genome assembly possible. They have written most, if not all, of the softwares for the new generation sequencers we are using. They are called the third generation. They are so young, but we are really confident of them because they have proved themselves. Let's have a look what a journal from Nature has written. These BGI researchers are smart, confident, and for their age, tremendously experienced. But we all understand them. They still have to grow up. They need more instructions and help from you. We have written, we are preparing for the future from Paul. I have written at least four texts for the textbooks of the kids. They are the future of science, both in China and in the whole world. As a scientist or researcher, yes, I would call again for responsibility. As the co-chairman of the European Action for Global Life Sciences, I, together with my colleagues, have this slogan to raise the ban of science and the humanity. And as president of BGI, another slogan to raise the ban of innovation and the ethics. This is what I have been advocating. Health is very important. Perhaps it's more important to place humanity above all. As a Chinese, we know ourselves. We have to be humble. That's not just a try or intend to be humble. That's really true. We are satisfied. We are not satisfied to be called the world sequence factory. But it is true. We have been working very hard to earn the reputation, to earn the trust from you as the world's largest sequencing centers by doing this and doing that, that I, of course nothing could be done without you. We will always acknowledge the pioneers. As that Chinese proverb goes, the later comers should do a better job because of the pioneers ahead of us. We know nothing could be done without collaboration. As another Chinese Probably goes. Nobody could be a hero without three partners. We are not heroes. So we need more partners. That's the reason we have initiated as a part of our effort, the International Potato Genome Project, which is 
already completed and will be published soon. And then we call for our colleagues, Arabian country, sequence what is important for you. And the first choice, of course, is Arabian camel. These animals are sensitive to the global climate changes that's sequenced together. We have been an active part of the International Genome 10K project. We're going to sequence at least 15% of all of the vertebrate on this globe. We have initiated the AP-10 project in collaboration with our colleague in the UK to sequence the methylome and the genome to some extent 5,000 twins, it might be the largest ever studies on twins we initiated. Together with our colleagues, 1,000 actually would be more mammalian disorder project. Of course, without collaboration, we cannot do it. That's a project to study thousands of patients suffering from type 2 diabetes. That's a collaboration together with my teachers, my friends in Denmark. We also have this project to sequence 750 whole genomes of the doches. That's right. That's the reason we have been a strong part of the 1K Human Genomes Project. We claim to sequence 10 to 20,000 individuals before the end of this year. We have been an active player of the International Cancer Genome Consortium to collaborate with our colleagues in China and outside China on the research of cancers. We also initiated a 10,000 microbial genome project. Here, 10,000 does not mean 9,999 plus one, it means everything under the sun. Shine. We have just initiated the Earth Microbial Project, sequence at least 200,000 samples donated from our colleagues all over the world. I have to remember, Bijan has to remember, genomics cannot be done alone, genomics is international. This is our strategy for growth through the vast international collaboration. We are learning from you. We are all on the same boat with our partners. I really, really cannot thank you enough as Chinese Following the good side of Chinese culture, we know how to appreciate you all. We are always reminded, when you drink the sweet water from the well, don't forget who helped you drag it. And then I thank our colleagues, even though they were worried, but they still always have had confidence in the scientific capacities of this small group I enjoyed so much and was energized. And the Herod of Amos was the first one, both a foreigner and a Nobel laureate to have visited our institute. No success was more inspirational than that achieved by BGI. Of course, we understand in the right way, it's still in expectation. I am so proud to have been one of his students. That's a pity, Alexander this evening has to be in DC for his commitment. He promoted our relationship from Brotherly Institute to Broad BJ Twin Centers. Just a few months ago, we have to thank the father of DNA research, James D. Watson. Jim, we have not let you down. And then I have to thank all my mentors and friends like <laughs> Fred Duby. Thank you, Duby, for your continuous encouragement and advice. I thank all my teachers and the mentors. Professor Lars Burland now works for me, one of his students, at least six months a year. Most, if not all, of the VIPs in the international community of genomics have been there. Why don't you go there and join us? Finally, personally, also on behalf of my young staffs, I would say 
I'm so lucky that I have so many friends with whom I feel the world is so warm and so bright. I'm so privileged that I have so many teachers from whom I have learned so much both in my career and in my life. We will never forget you. We will always keep in mind one day's teacher or life's teacher. We are still learners. We are still latecomers. Thank you very much for joining me, joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah.